start i am coming here today from bihar where i performed or helped in the opening ceremony of a very magnificent piece of work of indian engineers and the great dam this i am told is the largest in the world a day before that i performed or participated in a completely different function at nalanda a great university center of 1500 years ago in magadha which is now bihar at this place where the ruins of the university still exist my mind went back to the days of the buddha i thought of this masses which apart from its religious significance was a masses of tolerance a masses against superstition rituals and dogma it was a masses essentially in the scientific spread the buddha asked no man to believe anything except what could be proved by experiment and trial all he wanted man to do was to seek the truth and not accept anything on the word of another even though it be of the buddha himself that seems to me the essence of this masses besides tolerance and compassion and it struck me that the masses far from being out of the date had a peculiar significance of this world of ours this spread of dogma i say with respect has affected badly the religious quest and made both minds and practices confirm more too rapidly rigid and tolerance ideas ideas which assert in effect that i am in possession of the truth the whole truth every bit of the truth and nobody outside the pale has it narrow man's mind shutting the door against a tolerant and objective approach where man not only took up at the heavens without fear but are also prepared to look down into the pit of hells without fear it seems to me that people in the buddha's time were more advanced in tolerance and compassion than we are although they were not so advanced in technology and science while i was there it struck me that quite apart from the religious issues there might be something worthwhile in the religious issues there might be something worldwhile in the traditional view of life because it is tolerant view of life while it may held one opinion it respects the opinion of the others and allows that there may be truth in the others opinions too it looks at the universe and the mysteries of the universe and tries to find them in a spirit of humility that is their approach to their religion the 
साइंटिस्ट इज सपोज टू बी एन ऑब्जेक्टिव स्पीकर आफ्टर ट्रूथ साइंस हैज ग्रोन बिकॉज इन ए लार्ज मैयर ग्रेट साइंटिस्ट हैव सॉट ट्रूथ इन दैट वे बट आई सपोज नो मैन टूडे नॉट इवन अ साइंटिस्ट कैन लिव इन ए वर्ल्ड ऑफ इज ऑन इन सम काइंड ऑफ आइवरी टावर कट इट फ्रॉम वॉट इज हैपनिंग देयर फॉर साइंस टूडे हैज पर हैप्स बिगन टू क्रॉस द बॉर्डर्स ऑफ मोरल एंड एथिक्स इफ इट गेट्स डिस्कवर्ड कंप्लीटली फ्रॉम द रीम ऑफ मोरलिटी एंड एथिक्स देन द पावर इट पोजेसिस मे बी यूज फॉर इविल पर्पजिज बट एब ऑल इफ इट टाइज इट सेल्फ टू द गॉस्पेल ऑफ हैट्रेड एंड वायलेंस देन अनडाउटेडली इट विल हैव टेकन अ रॉन्ग डायरेक्शन विच विल ब्रिंग मच पेरिल टू द वर्ल्ड i plead with the scientists here and elsewhere to remember that the scientific spirit is essentially one of the tolerance one of the humility one of realization and somebody else may also have a bit of the truth scientists should note that they do not have a monopoly of the truth that nobody has a monopoly no country no people no book truth is too vast to be contained in the minds of human beings or in books however sacred let us be little humble let us think that the truth may not perhaps be entirely with us let us cooperate with others let us even when we do not appreciate what others say respect their views and their ways of life let us go back to an ancient age of india ashoka's period 2300 years ago this man who was infinitely more more than an emperor has left memorials all over this great land memories which you can see today among the masses that he gave there is one which i think we should all remember not only in this country but elsewhere addressing in his own people he said if you rever your faith while you rever your own faith you shall rever the faith of others in reverencing the faith of others you will exalt your own faith and will get you own faith honored by others if you apply that message of tolerance not only to religion but to the other activities of human life such as politics economics and science you will find that it puts things in a different context it is a context which is not very much in evidence today where differences of opinion are not liked where the tendency is to suppress the view of the way of life that is not approved of where ultimately science itself becomes vitiated by a narrow outlook